friend. I'll take care of you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Zoe. Today I'm playing doctor and I'm taking care of all my fluffy friends. Aw, Scruffy needs a band-aid for his boo-boo. Should I give Scruffy the yellow band-aid or the red band-aid? I'll use the yellow one. There you go. Your turn, Miss Callie. Uh-oh, Miss Callie the cow has a fever. She needs medicine. Which spoon should I use for her medicine? Should I use the yellow spoon or the gray spoon? I'll use the gray spoon. This medicine will make her feel all better. Your turn, Mr. Bruce. Oh no, what happened to your fin, Mr. Bruce? Friends, do you think it's broken? We should put a cast on it. That'll make it feel better. I have a blue cast and a red cast. Which one should I use? I use the red one. There you go, that'll make his fin feel all better. Thank you so much for helping me, friends. We made so many choices. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Playing doctor's office, are you? I am, Ollie. We're making all my fluffy friends feel better. You knew what was best for your friends. It's true. And God will always know what's best for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh. 
Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. We've been talking a lot about choices. Should I do this or should I do that? And we've learned that God always knows what's best for us. And that reminds me of a story. Are you ready to hear it? Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So today's true story from the Bible begins with a very important man who leads a lot of soldiers. His name is, drum roll please, Naaman. Uh-oh, Naaman, what, what's happening? Oh no, are you sick? Naaman was sick. He had boo-boos all over his skin and there was no medicine for it. But a girl that worked for Naaman told him that a man named Elisha could help him. Elisha loved God and he was a prophet which means he gave people messages from God. Elisha heard that Naaman needed help, so he sent a messenger to tell Naaman to go to the water and dip in it seven times. Naaman had a choice to make. Do what God said and dip in the water seven times or keep looking for another way to get better. What do you think Naaman should do? Let's see what he does. Oh no! Naaman is walking away. He's not doing what God said. Naaman did not understand why God told him to dip in the water seven times, but Naaman's workers told him, you should do what God says. So finally, Naaman decided to trust God and go dip in the water seven times. Let's count for him. Ready? Here he goes. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. You did it, Naaman. And look, Naaman's boo-boos are gone. Naaman learned that God knew what was best for him. And we know that God knows what's best for us too. Oh, hi, Ollie. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God knows what's best for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Naaman listened to what God said, and God made Naaman feel all better. God knew what was best for Naaman, and God knows what's best for us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know! Let's look for more stories in the Bible. I'll see you next time. God knows everything. 1 John 3.20 God knows everything. 1 John 3.20